This is vital. Migraines, fatigue. If you are feeling tired, I'm not telling people to get away from their phone and their computers. I spend a lot of time staring at a page, drawing, writing, texting, etc., just like you do. But we're really talking about some very simple protocols that aren't just designed to improve your sleep, but are really designed to de-stressing your system. And all of these are essentially zero cost. The only part of your brain that's outside your skull or spinal cord is your retinas. Turns out that the original job of the eyes was not to see objects and shapes and colors and recognize faces. The original purpose, the ancient part of the retina, was placed outside of the skull to be able to adjust the overall state of the rest of the nervous system, right? If, in order to feel touched, you have to be in contact with something. Sound waves can arrive and smells can arrive from a distance, but in humans, the way that we adjust our overall levels of alertness or sleepiness or focus or other states of mind is by our eyes. So the eyes aren't connected to the brain, the eyes are brain. So these two things in the front you know, of my face are two little pieces of my brain that are out in the world trying to figure out what the brain that's inside the skull and the rest of the central nervous system, which of course is inside the spinal cord, should do, how alert they should be, what they should pay attention to and all that other stuff. So fundamentally the eyes are the brain. And then you say, well, how does this work? How do these little two pieces of brain adjust the state of the rest of the brain? And so the main way they do that is by paying attention to how bright it is outside and how dark it is and when. So the earth spins once every 24 hours, we know that. And it's not a coincidence that every cell in the body from a liver cell to a brain cell to a retinal cell has a clock. All its gene expression programs are on a 24 hour timer. Now, not all the clocks are synchronized, right? In other words, the eyes are pieces of brain that were designed to detect sunlight because that's what cues when it's daytime and the brain should be active and alert and metabolic process should be going one way and when nighttime is happening. And so we're a series of timers and the eyes are fundamentally important for that timing. Put simply, when you get tired, your eyelids close. And when you're alert, your eyelids are open. That is because you have neurons in your brain that depending on your level of alertness will make it easy or hard to keep your eyes open. Now that's a complete duh, except that we don't often think about the relationship between alertness and where we are looking and our eyelids. Now, I learned this from a colleague of mine in psychiatry. What happens when we get tired? Our eyelids close and our chin moves down. We tend to nod out this way. If you have ever been in a classroom and the lecture is kind of drawing on or it's the afternoon, what you'll notice is that a number of students, their heads are jolt, kind of their eyelids are closing and their chin is dropping. And then they, you'll see a bunch of heads bouncing back up. All right. I was definitely one of those people in class. If it was post lunch in the afternoon, it's warm, the hum of the air conditioner, whatever it is. And I just out. Okay. When we're wide awake, the opposite happens. Our eyelids are open all the way and our chin happens to be up. And no, this is not me telling you to have good posture. However, what I learned from my colleague at Stanford is that these circuits actually act in loops. When we look up, maybe it's because these melanopsin cells are in the bottom of our retina, they are, and maybe it's because they're there in order to view sunlight, which is overhead, which it is. But that system of alertness is linked to the position of our eyes. So when we look up and our eyelids are up, it actually has a purpose. It actually creates a wakefulness signal for the brain. And so while this might seem like the silliest and simple tool that I might ever describe on this podcast, if you are feeling tired, it actually can be beneficial to the wakefulness systems of the brain, including the locus ceruleus and these areas that release norepinephrine to actually look up, to actually look up toward the ceiling. You don't want your chin all the way back, but to look up and to raise your eyes toward the ceiling and to look up and try and hold that for 10 to 15 seconds. So this isn't looking up and closing your eyes like on a nice sunny day. That's relaxing. This is looking up and actually looking up at the ceiling. It actually triggers some of the areas of the brain that are involved in wakefulness. So if you're somebody who's falling asleep at your work, this can be very beneficial. Likewise, many people are looking at their phone all day and their chin is down and then they're sitting at a computer that's positioned below them and they're having trouble staying awake or focusing. Positioning your computer screen up at eye level or sometimes 
having it actually above eye level can actually create wakefulness and alertness for the work that you're going to do. This is simply because of this connection between the brainstem circuits and the other neural circuits that control wakefulness and eyelids opening and looking up.